Hello viewers, welcome to another very interesting video. In this video, I will be going to discuss the differences between a relay and a contactor. And it is a very commonly asked question that what is the difference between them? So I would probably say that relay is a miniature version of a contactor. But yes, there are differences between these two devices. This is an animated image of a relay and here you can see an animated image of a contactor. So the similarity between both these components are they are electrically operated switch. It means that whenever you energize an electromagnetic coil, it will operate as a switch and energize the load. Here you can see these are the power contacts that are connected with this electromagnetic coil and whenever this coil is energized, the contact makes and power up the load. And both these components have electromagnetic coil and the contacts which are used to energize or de-energize the load. So let us find out what are the differences between a relay and a contactor. So a relay is used in control circuits for automation and also it is used to multiply the contact. So you can have multiple normally close and normally open auxiliary contacts in the relay and in order to use it in the control logic or multiply the contact, you can use a relay. Whereas contactor is used in a power circuit to switch a heavy load. Another difference is the maximum switching capacity of a relay is up to 20 ampere and this type of relay which has a high ampere current rating is called the power relay. But most of the relays are used only to energize the coil of the contactor whereas for the contactor the switching capacity is up to 12,000 ampere because it is used to switch a heavy loads up to 12,000 amperes. Another difference is the relay is used to switch the light single phase load. Although relay have four normally open and four normally close auxiliary contact and you can use to switch a three phase load. But most of the time since relay is used in the control circuit, it is only used to switch a single phase load. For example, a bulb, a heater or an electromagnetic coil. Whereas the contactor is used to switch a three phase load because it has the power contacts that has a very high current capacity. The next very major difference is the relay has both open and close contacts. And during de-energize condition, the relay is normally connected to the power circuit through normally close contact. For example, as you can see in the drawing, that phase is connected to the common terminal and both the normally open and normally close contacts are connected with an electromagnetic coil. So whenever a relay is energized, this electromagnetic coil is energized through the normally open contact. Whereas when the relay is de-energized, the phase or the common terminal is connected with the normally close contact and then it will energize this ele electromagnetic relay. So you can see here that even though the relay is de-energized, the load is still connected to the phase through normally close contact of the relay. Whereas in the contactor, the power contacts are normally open. We don't have the normally close power contact. So whenever the contactor is de-energized, the load is completely disconnected from the power supply. Since the relay is used to switch a very light load, therefore there are no arc pressures in the relay. Whereas in the contactor, for heavy loads, the contactor have arc suppression mechanism. The last difference is overload is not used with the relay because relay are you meant to switch such type of loads that do not require a separate overload relay. The overload protection is done through a circuit breaker. Whereas 
since the contactors are used mostly to switch the electric motors which required a separate overload relay therefore the overload relay must be installed with the contactor in order to provide an overload protection for the motors so i hope you clearly understand the differences between a relay and a contactor and now you can easily able to choose between these two components depending on your circuit requirement so for more interesting videos stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you for watching